welcome back to Pogoski Pins and Collectibles, and today is Blind Box Day. First, gotta put my eyes on so I can see what I'm doing. So, welcome back to my channel. I got a ton of blind boxes to do with you. I am gonna turn the camera around so you can see everything that's in these blind boxes. I'm gonna use my trusty table, my side table here, so that I can show them to you as we go through them. So today I've got lots of boxes. I've got two of these Star Wars Mandalorian boxes. I've got five Coco blind boxes to go through. I have five Pixar bag blind boxes to go through and a Star Wars blind box to go through. All right, so while I got these boxes from the American Hot Topic store online, and I paid US dollars for all of these boxes. I had a bunch of Hot Topic cash that I used and uh, basically got these for half the price. So the retail value on these are $8.90 American. And I basically paid $4 a piece because of my Hot Topic cash that I used for these. So that's a, a really good deal because with the exchange rate, I kind of needed the break. All right, let's do these two Mandalorian boxes first. Now these I use as traders. I do not keep these, but let's see what we got. Oh, he's cute. I have him already. Here he is. The child with, it looks like a bubble or a plant. I can't figure out which one it is. I have one of these guys already and I will use him as a trader so that I can get other things. Maybe I can trade him for another cocoa pin or some other pin collection that I'm going to be putting together. All right, let's open this guy here. Oh, it's the meditating one doing his recovery. Don't we all want to do that this time frame, eh? So with everything going on right now, you would think that we'd all need to do a little bit of this meditation stuff. So another trader, I'm happy. The next set of boxes we're going to go through is the Pixar mini backpack blind box. That's a mouthful. <laughs> also has an $8 90 value. You get one pin per box. And as you can see, we have Toy Story Up and Monsters Inc. represented in these bags. So let's see what we got going on here. First box. All right, we need scissors for this one. So cut that. What we got going on here? Oh, neat. Okay, so the first one is Woody. I love these pens. The detail is really nice on these. Really beautiful. I'll flip it over so you can see the back. Really nice. Okay, so let's do the other another box here. This is box number two. Crack this open. Who have we got? Oh, is this the chaser? <gasps> it's the chaser. Kevin, check it out. Oh, and I love this pin. Look at how beautiful that pin is with all the glitter. Oh, that is a nice pin. Now, I will not get the full set because I've only got five of these. Hot Topic only maxes us out at five boxes. I would have tried getting more if I could. I would have gotten 10 boxes to try to get a full set. But I'm really happy I have the chaser. This is really awesome. He's quite, or she's quite beautiful, I should say. I'm moving on to the third box. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we'll get a duplicate or if it'll be this, a different one. Oh, it's different. It's from Up. Love, love, love. Look, and you can see the grape soda pin on the backpack. That is awesome. This set of pins is beautiful. I actually love these. So that's three out of five. Let's get the fourth box open here. Okay, what's it going to be? Ooh, uh, look at that. It's Sully from Monsters, Inc. I love that beautiful pin. The colors are great. And the fact that you have like purple and pink and the spots, just like you're supposed to see. There's the back. All right, last but not least, so far, not one duplicate. That's pretty rare, actually. And we got two of these. So next on the docket are these Star Wars blind boxes. Now, these are only $7.90 US dollars, so a little bit less expensive than the other pins. I'm wondering if it's because they're smaller. It just looks like you get the one pin per box. So I've got five of these. Let's open them up and see what we got. Pull this out. And like that. we got a Mandalorian pin. All right, so that's number one. That's pin number one. Let's see what else we got. What we got here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Check this out. Now oh, that's neat. So I'm checking with Hubby. It looks like this might be a stormtrooper of some kind. I just don't know what kind it is. But I still think it's really neat because it's sort of a three-dimensional pin. Like it's got lots of relief. All right, that's pin number two. Um, pin number three of five. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's take this out. Let's see what we got. Ooh, uh, and this is the Jedi symbol, I suppose. So these will all end up in my shop. If you're interested in any of these, that's where you need to go after you watch this video. They're likely going to be there if they're not sold on my Facebook page. All right, next one up. Ooh, uh, Darth Vader. Who doesn't know this guy? I think you were born under a rock and stayed there if you don't know who Darth Vader is. But anyway, same sort of thing. Three, he's got lots of relief, which I think is really neat. 
Just out of curiosity, I'll take a look at the back of this pin. LFL. Last but not least, five of five boxes. What have we got? Oh, we've got a duplicate. There we go. We've got two of these guys. Just to give you a sense, there's the five pins from the Star Wars blind bags. I'm not so sure I like these quite as much. I mean, I like the three-dimensional perspective, but I actually don't feel like they have as nice a quality as some of the other pins that we've seen. They're definitely not as nice as the Mandalorian pins, and they're definitely not as nice as the Loungefly bag pins that we just uh, we just opened up. Last but not least are these Coco pins, these blind box. One collectible pin per box, retail value, $8.90 American, but $9.60 Canadian for these at Hot Topic if they were selling them in the store, but these are online exclusives and I used Hot Topic cash to get them. I've got five of these boxes, so let's open them up. Let's see what we got. These pins I'm likely gonna keep because I collect Coco pins. So let's see what we got. Oh, I got the chaser right off the bat. Check this out. Look at that, it's got sparklies, music note, so let's show you the pins on the back here. The choice, the options are. So you got Miguel and Hector, right? You got everybody in there, except this is the chaser. And I got it first try. Sweet. The chasers are often not as common, which is why they're the, called the chase, because they're harder to get. They're the ones that people chase for. This one feels different. Oh, it feels big. So let's see what we got here. Okay, now the next pin I get is Mama uh, Imelda Rivera. So this is a beautiful pin and she's huge. She is like, check it out guys, like an inch and a half long. She's a really good sized pin. I love the quality of these pins. Like the color is awesome. This, there's the back of the pin so you can see it. Definitely gonna hang on to that one. Let's move on to the next box. It would be really cool if I didn't get any repeats, but we'll see. This one feels smaller. There, Day of the Dead mask. I love the colors on this one as well. Very bright. Back of the pin again. So we got three for three on no repeats, which I'm happy with. Let's see what we got. This one feels, oh, and I've got my first duplicate. There's my first duplicate. Oh, this one has a scratch on it. So there's a, a factory scratch that came right out of the bag that way, which is really unfortunate because, you know, if you ever want to resell these pins or trade them, you now have a defective pin. So that's not real, that's not real pleasant. That's definitely a defect in the pin. Oh, well, that's okay. I've got two anyway. There, see? All right. So we've got duplicates there. And the last box. Let's do the last box. No, this is a third one of the mask. Oh my gosh, I got three of these. <laughs> that's insane. That's crazy. All right. So what have we got here? So I've got Mama Melda, three of these Day of the Dead masks, and then the Chaser. So what I'm missing now are the, the boys. I need the boys. Miguel, Hector, and um, Ernesto, Ernesto de, de la Cruz. So I need to get the three men, the three boys. So I'm going to see if I can trade at least two of these to try to get my full set. And then maybe I'll trade my Star Wars Mandalorian pins, which, as you recall... I got the meditating one and the one with the plant and or maybe any of the Star Wars pins, which, as you know, from these here, I got the um, Mandalorian symbol, the Jedi symbol, Darth Vader and two of the Star Troopers or the Storm Troopers, rather. I also got in this bag here. Now, I liked the Kevin Chaser and I might actually hang on to it. I have to decide if I want to finish this set. I may just um, trade them all to try to finish my Coco set. Well, thanks again for watching Plagowski Pins and Collectibles on today's blind box adventure. I absolutely love blind boxes. They're like my new thing. I love doing that. I love the surprise and the element of what am I going to get next in these boxes. These were online purchased through Hot Topics, so none of them were tampered with. They were all brand spanking new. They all came in their original manufacturer mini bag, if you will. Very happy with that. Most of these I'm going to trade or sell, um, except for the cocoa pins. I'm going to definitely, they're part of my collection. I, I collect Coco, so I will definitely be wanting to finish that set. So I'm going to trade my duplicates to see if I can get the boys from this set. And I have all the other pins that I can trade as well, sort of the Mandalorian pins or the Star Wars pins or even the bags, the Pixar bag boxes. Anyway, if you ever see anything that I post on my videos that you think I might be listing, that you think you might be interested in, go hit the link down below where my eBay store is because the items could be yours. And otherwise, feel free to subscribe because I'll be doing these unboxings on a regular basis. When I order my pins, I'll share them with you, whether they are private pin collections or Hot Topic blind boxes or whether it be Main Street Mail. I also have another subscription box coming from Kawaii. It's like a Japanese monthly. It's, it's just shipped from Japan. So I don't know when I'll get it, but when I do, I'll share it with you and I'll do a review and let you know what that's all about. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.